the point is you're making a claim and you didn't verify it. Sorry, the point is that space is fake and that if we were contained, it wouldn't be a sky vacuum for rockets to travel through. So your question about having containment and what's beyond it, well, what, what did the Mars mission break the containment? Did they smash through this containment you have an acceptance of now? No, they didn't, right? They're just faking it because they're not traveling through a sky vacuum that has no containment, as is actually asserted in heliocentrism. Maybe, maybe, hold on, I have a real theory about this. Maybe it has to do with psychological immunization, where they basically cause a cognitive dissonance instead of just letting them still believing it's all real. The Fair. the standalone the standalone show on Flat Earth anywhere is Flat Earth debates here. And here's why. Because we deal with the physics. There are so many Flat Earth channels that deal with NASA footage fakery. Let them deal with it. I come here because of the way Nathan runs the show, and that is the physics, the nature of our reality. And that's what makes us different, and I love it. Anyway. So you don't think I'm correct with my theory? I do think I'm you're correct, Owen, correct, but I'm more I'm keen not... to hear the tacit acceptance of the containment we require for gas pressure in the form of a question from Ed. So do you want to repeat yourself, Ed? Yeah, which one of you has been outside the container? Uh, that, I, I love to hear the tacit acceptance from the globe <laughs> side that we must have containment. Right, so none of you? We're all <laughs> Mr. Ed is back. <laughs> we all die in the container, Ed. Uh, yeah, Nobody goes out of the container. Welcome to uh, contained... Spirit. Welcome to fake space, though. How do you know really it's in. fake if you've never been outside the container? But you understand we need a container, right? How do you know space is fake if you've never because been outside? Because we need a container, container to have gas pressure. Yeah, you're not answering. You're dodging. I'll yes, repeat yes. it. Because, as declared by you with your tacit acceptance and question of us whether or not we've achieved exit from the container, well, if there's a container, then you're not travelling out to a sky vacuum. Yeah? Then there's something over us containing us. Well, it's asserted that Earth in a sky vacuum is an open system without containment. But your question implies your tacit acceptance of the containment we must require to have gas pressure here. So, like us, you understand, but therefore feel that we're the arbiters of what's beyond the containment we must have to be breathing? No, no, we don't know that. But it's nice that you now understand, as we do, that we must have containment debunking space because the sky is not a vacuum. So you don't know if space is fake? Yeah, we do. If the sky was a vacuum, there'd be no containment. Yeah, just covered this. And the gas we breathe would fill the space. It would be the availability of volume. Your sky is a vast space for gas to fill. And gas would just fill it. If it was 10 to the minus 17 tall vacuum, then the gas we're breathing would be filling it. But like you already have an tacit acceptance. No, for us to be breathing, there must be containment. That's right. So not sky vacuum. Containment. The globe model you know? uh, volume that QE read out earlier, that would kind of make your model impossible. Yeah. Space right, so space. How do you know there's not a vacuum behind the container, though? So you, you accept, we're back onto your tacit acceptance of the containment that is required for us to be breathing, then. So space fake. That's not what what i asked uh, moving on so when we get to the point where he's asking about the necessary antecedent consequent relationship involved for us to be breathing that's containment for gas pressure he asks us have any of us been beyond the container and it's like yeah the moment you ask that question you are invalidating space though you appreciate that your acceptance of natural law reality that is debunk space can't be a vacuum because gas would fill it how do you know that you haven't been outside the container uh, because i'm breathing so I don't need to go outside the containment that we must have to be breathing. I just need to breathe to know that there's not a vacuum above my head. Debunking the idea, the notion, the model. Even earlier, were you not listening when Rumpus told us that natural law doesn't apply to your model and atmosphere? That this 
isn't applicable with natural law or it doesn't jive yeah your sky vacuum when it comes to natural law, it's not even applicable mate not even close to being applied with natural law your atmosphere your sphere shaped air in a vacuum without containment you can't even apply natural law to that how do you know that behind the container there's not a vacuum i don't know anything beyond the container i just know that we must be contained to be breathing and it's nice that you also believe that now or what accept it without relinquishing your fundy sky vacuum belief that your question demolishes yet your question demolishes your belief in a sky vacuum ed doesn't because you so doesn't it yeah containment yeah we'd need that as a way of having air that we're breathing yeah we'd need that yeah that's right yeah like you're asking about yeah you're asking if we've been beyond the containment we require yeah well the containment that we require for your question to make sense debunk space because it's not a sky vacuum gas would fill it if you didn't go behind the container you can't verify space is fake <laughs> <laughs> so okay let me get it straight let me get it straight so you think there's a, a container so you you tacit acceptance of containment then has a space beyond the physical barrier that's obviously got to be keeping us with the pressure that we breathe. So how did men go to the moon then in your fundamentalist contradiction where we have containment, but also adhere to a sphere earth belief without containment? How do you square that circle of traveling out through something that is ultimately stopping things traveling out from it? The point is you're making a claim and you didn't verify it. Sorry, the point is that space is fake and that if we were contained, it wouldn't be a sky vacuum for rockets to travel through. So your question about having containment and what's beyond it, well, what, what did the Mars mission break the containment? Did they smash through this containment you have an acceptance of now? No, they didn't, right? They're just faking it because they're not traveling through a sky vacuum that has no containment, as is actually asserted in heliocentrism. How do you know that you haven't verified what's behind the container? <laughs> what I just know that we must be contained, and contained would mean rockets can't it. get out. How do you know they can't get out somewhere else? You haven't verified it. Oh, is there a hatch? So you've added a <laughs> contained field, right? Or like a dome around the sphere Earth. And now what? They've got a special hatch they go through. <laughs> well, you haven't even verified the container. Like a so. force field. I have verified Sad. the container. Uh, there's a uh, helicopter guys. on Mars. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Hello. Can I respond to him without constant interruption? Yeah, I have verified that we are in containment. I'm breathing. I really show it. <gasps> there you go. <laughs> Dick. <laughs>